Hey everybody, it's Dr. John D'Ambrosio broadcasting live from Structural Chiropractic here in Oradell, New Jersey. And I wanna mix things up a little bit today. Uh, normally I go over some case studies with you, um, but today I wanted to, to give you my why. Uh, I was away last week on vacation and I missed being at the office. Um, and that's unusual, I think, for a lot of people. But uh, a lot of people don't do what I do. So I just wanna let you know why I'm here, why I'm here to help you on how it all got started. So um, my mom actually was helped by a chiropractor when she was young. Um, she had asthma, she would uh, be dragged off to the hospital back then, they put you in an oxygen tent and leave you in the hospital for a few days. And for my mom, it was very traumatic. My grandmother, you know, straight from Italy would, you know, come on Susie, let's go and drag her to the, uh, the hospital. And my mom, when she would be wheezing, she would try to hide it from my grandmother or her mom because she did not want to go to the hospital, and, and rightly so, it, you know, it was scary, she was young. And then one of my grandmother's neighbors told her about a chiropractor to help with my mom's asthma, and my grandmother took her, and my mom never had asthma again. So that was a foundation, that was, you know, obviously way before I was born, but then after that, when my sister was young, uh, and my sister is much younger than me, she started having breathing problems and skin problems. And my parents had taken her to uh, the pediatrician and the pediatrician said that my parents needed to wash the walls down with bleach in her room and that would help with it. And it did. So they washed the walls down and my sister's breathing got better, her skin cleared up, but it lasted for a month. And then they had to wash the walls down again. And then it lasted for three weeks and they had to do it again and then two weeks and again. And soon they were doing it every day and they couldn't figure out what was going on. The pediatrician couldn't figure out what was going on. And my mom, she was going to a chiropractor at the time because her back bothered her. And he had said to her, you know, you seem really stressed out, what's going on? So she explained and he said, well, you know, why don't you bring your daughter in? So my sister was taken to the chiropractor. She was checked and adjusted. And within a month, her skin, her breathing, everything was fine and it's still fine to this day, you know, 30 something years later. So me seeing that as a kid, as you know, I was uh, in high school at that point, seeing that, that's what chiropractic was to me. Um, so that's why I got into it. I got into it to help people because of, you know, what happened with my mom, what I saw happen with my sister. And that's different from the reason when I was at chiropractic school, one of the things they asked people is, you know, why did you become a chiropractor? Why do you want to become a chiropractor? And a lot of them said, you know, I want, I'm into uh, exercising and health, and I figured this is a, a, a good segue into that. Others said, you know, uh, I had really bad sciatica and a chiropractor helped me. But there was a, a group of people who, they were either um, second or third generation becoming chiropractors because they were raised with this and they saw what chiropractic could do. And then there was people like me who experienced it themselves or saw somebody who was helped. So that's why I, I went to chiropractic school and that's why I still have such a passion for it after over a quarter century. I just still love what I do. I love helping people and I'd love to help you. So um, if you enjoyed hearing this, give me a thumbs up. If you feel this is something that someone else would enjoy, please share it. And if you have any comments, please share them. All right, until next time, have a great week.